In April 2005, the American Mural Project team traveled to California, first stopping in Japantown in San Jose. Let's take a bottom sheet. Let's turn it over. There, dozens of participants, ranging in age from 3 to 95, worked on what would become a massive 22-foot-high, three-dimensional, double-helix DNA structure in the mural. Yeah, wait, you're right, you're right. It's taller than me. Yes. It's taller than me, too. Local Japantown preschoolers assembled to paint, draw, and create colorful collages made of tissue paper, which were affixed to a six-foot stretch of rice paper. Japanese Americans, who were relocated to internment camps during World War II, as well as their family members, displayed their memories from the camps, including poems, photographs, and other mementos. So we wrote, prejudged and oppressed, unnecessarily incarcerated, um, hardship and suffering, extreme sacrifice, emotionally distressed and internal strength. Several others contributed sketches and paper cranes to symbolize the time spent in the camps. And one participant painted an extraordinary Japanese story. <laughs> the second portion of the California project took place in Manzanar at the annual pilgrimage. There, former internees of the military-style camp visited the Manzanar Cemetery and War Relocation Center to remember and to honor their experience. Attendees at the pilgrimage shared memories and drawings on the American Mural Project rice papers. All of the drawings from the California Project have been digitally transferred onto an industrial windshield material called Macrolon to create the double helix structure, which would be positioned near the center of the mural. 